What's up guys? Caleb here, Caleb's Property Maintenance. Long time no talk. How you guys been? First of all, if you're new to the channel, please do not forget to go over and smash that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. That would do me a huge favor. Also, leave me a comment after you're done watching this video. Let me know uh, your thoughts on this. Obviously, you can see from the title, it's my review of the Echo PV9010T. That just means that the throttle is on the handle on the tube and not on the, on the other side. So let, leave me a comment here at the end. And uh, But without further ado, we're gonna get right into the video. As most of you guys know, I did win this blower at GIE 2021. I'm super pumped and uh, blessed really. And I, you know, most people say they never win anything. So I was happy and elated to say the least that I uh, got to pick this up at GIE rally there on Thursday night. So most of you guys do know that. So I uh, I didn't receive this for actually probably a month afterwards because I couldn't obviously haul it on the plane home. So they had to mail it to me. And so it took a little while for that to uh, work through their system. But I did receive it and then I was able to use it for the majority of my fall cleanups. So I ran this thing constantly all fall long. And I definitely have to say, it does have some power. That's for sure. Coming in right under uh, 80 cc's and um, I'm not going to get into the specs really, I just want to touch on a few of the key features here on this blower that I like. And um, I don't know guys, maybe maybe I, I, I don't dislike anything on here. I don't know, we're just going to have to uh, go through this and see. So right off the bat, one thing that I uh, love about these blowers is they are the genuine two-stroke blowers, so there's no adjusting of valves or anything. Most of you guys know I'm a huge steel fan, and uh, those are the four mix engines, so they run a little bit differently. So it doesn't have the same kind of feel of power, if you will, um, even though the steel um, BR800, which I do own as well, has the exact same size of engine in it. it. It's just kind of like a different feel of power. So, um, with that being said, there's really no maintenance issue other than changing the spark plug and air filter once a season um, like I normally would in the steels and um, that's really all there is to it. So that being said, the, the air filtration system is just, I believe, far superior to that of the steel. We're kind of going to be comparing um, everything against the steel today because I don't really, just talking about this blower there's not much I could really say so I got to compare it to something so we're going to be comparing it to the steel so the air filtration system is absolutely beautiful um, I didn't even open this up all fall long and then uh, just a couple weeks ago when I was doing doing uh, my maintenance on everything I opened this up and there was just a couple small leaves in there but nothing really as far as small particles of dust or anything like that so I was super thrilled about that. Continuing on guys, um, so we covered the air filter. The gas tank is plenty big. I would say that you get about the same amount of run time between the steel and the echo. Um, depending on if you're feathering the trigger or running it constantly wide open, that can definitely um, alter the fuel economy of either blower. I would say that unfortunately that is one of the downfalls of the classic two-stroke engines. If you are feathering the trigger they do tend to use a lot of gas. Whereas on my steels I noticed if you feather the trigger or, trigger or run it wide open it doesn't matter and it still does the same on fuel economy. So that would be the one downfall. Um, let's see, we're going to flip this thing around here. So talking uh, here on the back pad and the shoulder straps, I wouldn't say that either the Steel or the Echo has got it all figured out. Um, I do like how the Steel has the clip so you can clip it um, each strap up top so that way they don't fall off however me being a larger guy it's not going to it's not going to matter to me whether I clip them or not they don't they don't have a problem falling off the back pad here 
does have the a little bit of air cooling system here it does have that small fan that puts out some air on your back obviously not really necessary when you're working in the fall weather and it's you know 40 50 degrees out even 60 degrees out depending on uh, wind and other factors you may or may not need that back cooling pad so I didn't I mean I could definitely feel it but it wasn't like I was so thankful to need it like I would in the summertime I am not going to be using this blower in the summertime because it's just really overpowered to begin with for just blowing off uh, grass clippings and whatnot so it will sit all summer long so I won't really get the full benefit of that um, back pad uh, air coming onto your back so that's a negative but it is what it is that that's just how we're gonna work it um, then also the trigger here I think is definitely I do not like the switch on it as compared to the steel however I think the the trigger handle and the way you hold it overall is definitely more comfortable than the steel and um, I think also the the tip with that metal on the end of it so that doesn't wear out that is a huge plus over the steel um, overall I think that's gonna about do it the isolation is not bad between the two um, the one thing also here's another negative aha yes the gas cap has no problem Ooh, that was under pressure has no uh, it's very simple design and I, I love that about it but the opening is not that big so if you're sticking your gas can into there sometimes I, I did miss once or twice honestly I'm not gonna lie and I did spill some gas over the unit so that is one negative the steel has a little bit bigger of an opening on there so that way that's less likely to happen however i've still done it on the steel too so that's really a minor issue but overall um you can it, it looks kind of tight to get access to the spark plug here but it's really not that bad um so overall that's really my thoughts guys hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video let me know if you have the 90 10 or the 80 10 or the steel um 800 i have the 800 side start so that'll be an, another review for another day um, i definitely want to share my thoughts on the side start um, but that'll be for another time so thanks guys for watching this video um shoot me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and we'll talk to you guys soon have a good one We'll see ya.